Members of the alternative music scene mourn the passing of one of their own tonight. He was considered the father of punk in Milwaukee, Jerome Brish. He was better known as Presley Haskell, recognized for his raw, energetic sound, his life stolen by violence. Here's Lauren Bishop. Uh, when we played together, it was like sex, good sex. He was born Jerome Brish, and he'll be remembered for both the brilliance and energy of his talent and his love for the raw sounds of the underground, imbued in both the Haskells and Wilderness of Pain. Those of you here who are artists understand what I'm about to say. Uh, there's a difference between people who play and people who commit art. And Jerome was such a person. Haskell was born never knowing his father, raised by a maternal grandmother. And those who knew him say it's a childhood void, now never to be filled. He just had a marvelous association with human frailty, one of the most, one of the best I've ever known. I've always admired him for that. He's the only hitchhiker I ever picked up because I didn't want anybody else to pick him up because I didn't want him to get hurt. And as fans and friends jam the basement of St. Rita's Church tonight, they find it ironic that peace was brought by violence at just 39 years old. Police are calling it a homicide. Haskell was found on the street beaten with a baseball bat. He died after being disconnected from a life support machine. I don't think I ever really saw too much anger in him the time I knew him. But I'm angry. And I'm sorry for that, but I am. I still expect to walk into practice tonight and see the man playing guitar and having a few drinks with him or sodas or arguing or playing or creating. But Haskell's influence lives on in the albums of bands like the Violent Femmes and the indelible mark he's left on the music scene here. Jerome didn't just leave behind his own music, but he had left behind a lot of music from other people here tonight that never would have been heard otherwise. Thank you. Jerome Brish's latest band, Wilderness of Pain, will dedicate the next recording to him. I'm 